All right, here are some logarithm stuff, and in particular, this one's a difficult exponential equation to solve. The first thing that's tricky is what to do. How do you solve for x when you've got 4 to the power of x and 4 to the negative x? The equation reads 4 to the power of x plus 6 times 4 to the negative x equals 5. Well, the trick is to times everything by 4 to the power of x. When you do that, 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x, remember you add the exponents, what's x plus x? 2x. Again, 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x, add the exponents, x plus x is 2x. Over here, 6 still stays there, 4 to the negative x times 4 to the x, add the exponents, multiplying the same base, add the exponents, negative x plus x just makes 0, 4 to the power of 0 is just 1, these cancel each other out and you get equals 5 times 4 to the power of x. That's the first trick. Second trick, we need to have a letter represent, I, I mean you don't have to, but I find it a lot easier. Let's let a, instead of equals, eh, we can write equals, let a equal 4 to the power of x. Because when you do that, this equation becomes much simpler. Look what, look what happens. And here's another tricky part, 4 to the power of 2x. If a is 4x, then 4 to the power of 2x is a squared. If you need some convincing of that, 4 to the power of 2x is the same as 4 to the power of x squared. Remember, when you're multiplying exponents, you, add, you multiply them together. Sorry, when you have a power of power, you multiply the exponents. So 4 to the power of x squared would give you 4 to the power of 2x but 4 to the power of x is just a, so we get a squared. That's a tricky part. But if you get through that, then the equation becomes much simpler. It's a nice quadratic. Let's move everything to the left-hand side. You get a squared minus 5a plus 6 equals 0. And now you use your Bergman technique. What multiplies to 6 and adds to negative 5? Well, there's only really one choice, negative 2 and negative 3. Could have been 1 and 6, but can see that it's not. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, and they add to 5, so you get a minus 2 equals 0, or let's put it in brackets for now, a minus 3 equals 0. In other words, as I just said, a minus 2 equals 0, or a minus 3 equals 0. Let's see what we've done so far. Multiplied everything by 4x, then substituted in a representing 4x so that we get a nice quadratic. Move that quadratic left so that everything's on the left-hand side and factor. Now that we're factor, we solve just like we'd solve for zeros, either a minus 2 equals 0 or a minus 3 equals 0. So, a equals 2 or a equals 3. But we're not done because the answer is not what a is. Remember, a is 4 to the power of x. So either 4 to the power of x equals 2, or 4 to the power of x equals 3. Now what? Log both sides. You get log 4 to the power of x equals log 2. How do you solve that? When you have an exponent on a logarithm, you can bring it out in front, and you get x log 4 equals log 2. And how do we get x by itself? Well, it's being multiplied by log 4. So divide both sides by log 4, and the log 4 will cancel out on the left, and you get x equals, and let's try in our calculator, what's log 2 divided by log 4? We'll find out. Log 2 equals, divided by, I'll put it in brackets just to be safe, log 4, and I get exactly 0 0.5. That's one of my answers. In order to solve this original equation, right here, I'll put it in a box so you can see it. If you substitute back in 0.5 for the exponent, the left-hand side will equal 5. On the second possibility, though, 4 to the power of x equals 3, let's log both sides. So log 4 to the power of x equals log 3. Bring the exponent down like we did last time, same steps. x log 4 equals log 3. And let's divide by whatever's timesing x. Again, it's log 4. And so you get x is going to be, these log 4s cancel out, and x is going to be whatever log 3 divided by log 4 is. Log 3 divided by brackets, log 4. 
Not a pretty a number this time. Maybe we'll round to three decimal places. X is approximately 0 0.792. Two possible answers to solve what looked like a tricky equation.